वेलकम बैक सो दिस इज़ आवर सेकेंड वीडियो इन आवर ऑर्डर टू कैस साइकिल सो इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन अबाउट द डिफरेंट मास्टर रिकॉर्ड्स बिकॉज वी नो दैट वेन एवर वी आर गोइंग टू पोस्ट एनी ट्रांजेक्शन बिफोर दैट वी शुड हैव द रिक्वायर्ड मास्टर रिकॉर्ड्स विल बी देयर सो फॉर एग्जाम्पल लेट से इफ आई एम गोइंग टू डू ए ट्रांजेक्शन बिटवीन कस्टमर्स एंड द ऑर्गेनाइजेशन and what the product i'm going to sell that master record should be exist if i'm going to post some transactions related to customer so that customer record should be available here so all the master record should be there and uh, this master record we are going to create in the uh, system uh, next who is going to create that is again another question who is going to create whether uh, the end user is going to create or the super user the power user or the support team is going to create so that is as per the company's agreement or their policy they will create but master records will be there so in this uh, particular video i am going to explain these master records are already created by me earlier but i will show you different fields and what are the different fields are important for, for our different transaction purpose so here if you'll check uh, i have listed two items or two components you can say so one is your product the product what we are going to sell so you may say this is our penny stock which we are going to sell and uh, the customer to whom we are going to sell the product who is responsible for creating this uh, these master records as you know this is integration between your couple of modules that means crm sd and finance so now who is going to create the customer whether finance is going to create normally uh, in business sales team or sd team they are going to create the customer master because that they are the key persons who initially ne negotiated with the customer they finalize the product with the customer the price with the customer so normally the all the informations related to customers they have so when uh, uh, we are creating the customer master it's not like only the Uh, general information will be there or sales information will be there so we have three segments are there in the particular customer master so one component will be general segment one component will be the accounting part which we are saying that company code segment and third one is your sales organization segment so if we have a centralized master data team which we are saying that mdm then all this information will be shared to that team and they are responsible for creating master records if it is not there then maybe initially the sales team they will create the customer master with whatever the information they have so maybe general information and sales related informations they will update and after that uh, because with this the initial transactions like sales order creation possible then after that during our uh, billing and accounting point of view this can be later can be upgraded if all the informations are there then immediately they can uh, update all the other informations so it is uh, i can't say that who is going to create or which team is responsible normally every company they have a uh, mdm team or master data point of view one team dedicated team is there so they are responsible for creating the customer otherwise sales persons can be created they can create the customer very rare chance that finance is going to create the customer master so finance will use it but creation mostly handled by the sales person now uh, is this uh, 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 who is going to create the finish stock so the finish stock is as it is related to your mm so this will be always created by your manage material management team so because they uh, any they are managing this particular product so they will create this one next question in business or in when you will job point of view when you will work in the sales team or uh, let's say order to cash process so whether you are going to create the master data or not if you are going to join as end user then in that case you don't have access to master data creation so that's why you are not going to create it the next one is super user so super user if they have the access maybe they can create it otherwise power users are going to create it so power users are responsible for master data again in some companies they don't give any rights master data rights to their user they always uh, they prefer that the master data should be created by the uh, support team now it it will vary from organization to organization who is going to create master data but normally in interview if any questions related to master data will be there then you should be prepared to answer those and uh, i already created the master record i am just showing that the master record uh, one i will use here the finish stock just for reference because uh, the next process we will use that particular finish stock and this finished product is 90 
the master data number is 93 and we are going to create customer in fact in s4 we are saying that it is our business partner bp so we are going to create the business partner or we i will show you the business partner different components related to business partner so if you know the business partner uh, you can create a business partner for your transaction point of use and the business partner number uh, i need to check i think it is 51 okay so for your practice point of view you need to create these two if you are going to run complete order to cash cycle so let's check it so now i'm in s4 system and in s4 system so let me show you first the product so the product again the transaction code is same whether it is raw materials packing materials finished stock whatever so when we are referring p2p series so that time we are using raw materials with procurement point of view here we will refer the finished product because that we are going to sell so transaction code is mm03 and the product master record which is already i created earlier so 93 now here what are the views are important from the sales point of view so obviously sales point of view all the sales related informations are important those should be there then production point of view the mrp views are important but, but when you are part of auto to cash this is nothing related to your area it is related to production then other informations like your uh, uh, plant information should be there and accounting point of view accounting and costing point of view costing views are important so it is not related to order to cash this master record we are going to use to understand this particular process but master data is separately finished stock or the material master is separately an area of discussion which i already prepared so many videos on those so let's check it so here add the details for reference i am going to use here the plant as z100 then something storage location we are going to use here sales organization so for easy remembering i'm just uh, using the same it's not same it's different entities but i have just used the same characteristics here so that you will not get confused with different components okay and all are done by the consultant means i did the backend configuration but the consultant will configure all this now here the master record is ready for us which we will use so this much master record 93 the particular master record and it is one finished stock then different tabs are there so here we it is available for selling purpose so some informations and this particular product is taxable product so that means when we will create the sales order some tax related informations also will be there or when we will say the uh, we will see the accounting document so there are also some sales information will be there which will be initiated from our sales or sd module so these are our various informations related to master record right and uh, then accounting point of view if you'll see right so now here you can see that particular product cost is the uh, not the selling price the uh, 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 cost the manufacturing cost of the particular product the manufacturing cost of the particular product you can see it is updated as three double six seven eight now who is who, uh, which team is going to decide this material price is it related to sd or it is related to our mm or it is related to your accounting none of them because the price of the product the manufacturing cost of the product will be managed by or it will be calculated from the costing or from the co team from the management accounting it will be although of course they will take the information from mm they will take the information from fi but it will be calculated this particular product the now if i want to see this particular product cost then uh, if i have the authorization i can go there otherwise i can get the information from the costing team similarly if i will go to the costing tab there you will find the information now here it is updated that this price of the material is calculated 376678 right if i will click here then i will get the detail information right so here if i will i want to see the price of the particular product i want to see how it is calculated although it is not my area but just for uh, information purpose i want to see this particular price so now the screen changed from my material master to 
the cost calculation should again in con uh, CEO a lot of configurations should be there by the concerned consultant or the concerned team and automatically system calculated this price we are just referring it so this is how it is calculated and its different components are there so here what are the components are there what are different components it is uh, or informations are there just for our information these are the different components of the material so it includes material cost it includes different activity over it so in total this is how it is calculated now 370 is our cost price of the particular product when we will sell we will see what will be the selling price being user these informations are just for my uses purpose but i don't have authorization or in fact no one is going to manually calculate this cost so all this information configured by the consultant or the uh, i mean i did all this but it is part of your development team so they have calculated all this or they configured in such a way that so that when user is going to run the report automatically system is going to calculate the price so as a uh, concern department that means from the procurement department or uh, warehouse department material department i got the information the price is 36678 why this cost price is important this cost price is important on the basis of cost price the selling price will be determined or when we are going to sell the product that time also costing people they want to see a cost revenue analysis of course i will show you that also in this series although it is not part of order to cash but just to complete the process i will show you so till now we understood that one finished product will be there that is related to material what product we are going to sell and this is the 93 is my material master finished stock, which we will use in our sales process then next question to whom we are going to sell so this one is the product which we are going to sell 93 and to whom we are going to sell that is our customer so we will check that too the customer the transaction code is business partner bp in old system it was known as customer but here in s4 we are saying it is business partner and in business partner we have different roles are there now as we are going to sell it from the sd module from the sd side so that means this business partner both accounting related information must be there and sales related information should be there let's check it so here uh, yeah it is 51 so the customer the customer we are going to use here business partner no this is your business partner customer number we will see what is that now it is the general information related to that business partner some general informations are there then i want to see the sales related information okay so which is already created by i created but the rest Principal team is going to create the master data now I want to see the general information related to customer it's not accounting information I want to see the sales related information so if I will go to the sales and distribution here okay so different tabs are available if I will click here the sales and distribution tab then it will be redirected me to the sales tab so if I will go to here I can see the information related to sales point of view those are important so those informations are available so we are going to deliver the product to the customer so that is why shipping informations are available so from which plant it will be dispatched some other informations are there then we are going to raise a bill on or invoice for this customer so billing information is also available then some partner functions are there so when you are focusing on the order to cash and we will be part of that team so these areas just for your information no questions you will get it or you will get an interview related to master data but gradually once you will have a senior role let's say you are going for power user or super user then definitely master data segment will be there now i want to see the accounting related informations so if i will select here the finance role then you can see the company code segment activated and uh, the customer is 21 business partner is 51 but customer is 21 then uh, reconciliation account so i hope you know what is reconciliation account if you don't know then i will add this video in the i button so you can check that so right now whatever we are accessing this is one sub ledger and your reconciliation account is your ledger so that means every sub ledger whether it is customer or it is vendor it will be part of reconciliation account in this case it is accounts receivable the complete balance and uh, once we'll post the transaction also we will see these transactions how it is going to reflect in the reconciliation account that is our 2000 so this 2000 account we are going to include in our balance sheet so here also a couple of uh, informations are there now all the accounting informations you will find in the company code segment all the sales related informations you will find in the sd site which is say under sales and distribution and general information of course it will be available 
fine so in the next video we will post the transaction